Think back to when you were younger. Do you remember when you were buying your first ever guitar? Not really, actually. I'm getting so old, it's crazy. I do. I can remember buying my first ever guitar at a guitar center when I was like 16, no, 14, and it was an Ibanez Geo, and it was an absolute piece of trash. I didn't know that then, but it was like 70 bucks, you know, because inflation, so it was cheaper then, and it had horrible fret ends, it had high frets, the pickup sounded like cardboard, and the whole thing was complete trash, but it looked cool, and that's all I cared about then. If you fast forward to today, you can actually buy guitars as big beginner that are really good for the price. And that brings us to this guy right here. This is the Felsi FST 400. Like me, you have seen these guys all over Amazon. It's been absolutely crazy. Like if I look up socks. So out of curiosity and not wanting to spend any more of my money on cheap guitars, I messaged them asking if they would send me one of their guitars to review and they graciously said they would. So this is a guitar they sent me pro bono and I'm going to give it a fair and honest review. It's important to me that if companies give me free stuff, I'm not gonna give them like glowing reviews just because of that. So I'm going to rip this guitar to sh But no, but really, I wanna be as honest as I can. The cool thing is this is a pretty solid guitar so I don't have to like rip it to shreds. I, like I would buy this guitar. If I bought this guitar for like 400 bucks, I'd be reasonably happy with it. But for a hundred and what is it, $49 plus a couple coupons. So I think it's like 129 bucks. This is a ridiculous deal. So part of the deal is I would do an unboxing video. I think they wanted me to show you all the things that come with this guitar. And I kind of understand why, because this is kind of a package deal. It comes with a lot of cool things, a case, a tuner, obviously a cable, but more stuff. So let's look at the unboxing really fast. So Festly was kind enough to send me one of their guitars to review. That is the second time that's ever happened. So thank you, F Festly. I do appreciate that. And they specifically requested me to unbox the guitar as well as review it. And I don't typically unbox guitars, but I think the reason they want me to unbox it is to show off this awesome guitar bag that comes in. Guitar bag, gig bag, whatever. Don't judge me, I'm tired. So this is a very nice gig bag. Uh, it's actually very well padded in all the parts where it kind of matters. Like down here, you see, it's well padded all down here all around so and it actually is reasonably thick all around for a guitar of this price so uh good on them and they have a, a handle right here which i don't think i've ever seen before but I, I dig it it makes sense like if it's in your trunk you just kind of grab it pull it up like that and then of course it has uh backpack straps and uh and and all that so it's actually a very nice very nice bag especially for again for a guitar of this price point it's Kind of wild. Before we've got the guitar, let's look inside this big pocket right here. Let's see what is inside. So, looks like actually a, a good amount of stuff in here. Now let's crack her open. Okay, so we have a, a polishing cloth, uh, Felsi labeled. Uh, we have a high quality audio cable, which, you know, it looks like a pretty average, uh, frankly cheap instrument cable, um, but you know, comes free with the guitar, so it's cool they supply it for you. And then what's also really cool is they supply you with a with a tuner. And uh, I don't know if many guitars come with tuners, so that's that's kind of cool. I have like four of these laying around, but this one is uh, again labeled Felsi. So these guys are all about their branding, that's for sure. Lots of, lots of Felsi logos going on. That's great, good for them. I I, I get it. It makes sense. Separate yourself from the competition. There is a lot of competition out there these days. And then comes a couple of these medium Fender-ish guitar picks. Again, branded Felsi. Oh, it also comes with a strap. Let's see if the strap is branded. Okay, the, the strap is not branded and I am kind of surprised. Everything on this guitar is branded Felsi besides the strap. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Uh, you think they would bring the strap? That's okay. Well, who cares about that? Why, why am I focusing on that? Okay, let's move this box aside. 
Oh, wait a second. Before we do that, here's a little instruction manual. And that's, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Huh. What's in this guy? So inside here we have like the guitar parts and things like that, live and what they do and what they are, how, how to locate them. But they also have like how to change strings, how to like adjust the truss rod, intonation, how to adjust action. Let's read one section and see if it's accurate. So let's see, adjusting string action. If you feel you're having difficulty fretting or hearing a buzzing noise, the strings may be set too high or too low. In this case, the action, uh, in parentheses, the space between strings and fret level will have to be adjusted. Adjusting the action will let you achieve the desired string level. This can easily be remedied by lowering or raising the string saddles located on the bridge. The saddles are the parts in front of the bridge where the strings sit. You can raise or lower the saddle by turning the hex screws on the saddle with a hex wrench. Turn the screw clockwise to raise the saddle and counterclockwise to lower it. If the saddle has two hex screws, be sure to both the same amount. That's exactly what you do. So that's kind of cool. How about that? And there's actually quite a bit of advice in here on how to repair your guitar and set it up. Uh, obviously, I won't be using that, but for a beginner, that is dead useful. Okay, so let's set this box aside. Let's crack her open. Let's see here. And here it is. I specifically requested this kind of satin black finish. They have a few other colors, but I wanted a black guitar with a black fretboard. This is kind of what I was craving at the moment. And uh, it looks like over here they have, of course, branding, Felsi. And then over here they have more, more branding, Felsi. Wow. Uh, but what's kind of cool as well, and this is, again, this is for beginners, not for people that have been playing for a long time, but if you look at this right here, you'll see they have oh, a bunch of chords, a bunch of basic chords there, which Honestly, kind of cool. Again, for your beginners, that's kind of cool. So, perfect. So this guitar has a poplar body. I don't know if it's one piece, two piece, three piece. I can't tell because, you know, it's covered in black, but let's say two piece, that's pretty popular, right? It has a three pickup configuration, humbucker, single, and single. Has two volumes and one tone, a five-way switch. Has a maple neck. Has 22 uh, nickel frets, which I think are about medium jumbo. Proprietary tuners. Proprietary, you know, vintage six screw tremolo that it's probably my biggest complaint of the guitar, but we'll get into that in just a minute. And then we have a mystery wood for the fretboard. I have no idea what wood this is. It looks kind of like rich light. I, I don't know. It, I know it's not ebony or, or, or rosewood. It's like they're sort of mystery recycle wood. I don't know. Either way, it works perfectly fine. It's super dark, which I like a lot. So there's a, there's a few ways to review this guitar. And one is going to be how good it is objectively compared to my other guitars I have laying around here. And then there's comparing it to guitars in the price range. I'm going to do the best I can to kind of split the difference because this guitar on the whole is a very nice guitar for the price. But there are some things about this guitar that drive me nuts to no end whatsoever. Okay, so let's begin with all the positive stuff, which are the pickups are pretty good. So if you're a beginning guitar and you get this guitar as your first guitar, I think these pickups are going to serve you perfectly fine for the first few years of your guitar playing career. The bridge pickup is nice and hot, but it takes distortion really well. So it doesn't scream, it doesn't hum, it takes distortion fabulously. So if you have your distortion up to like seven, eight, nine, ten, it won't hum too much, which is a really good thing for guitars in this price range. However, these two pickups here, they do hum. So if you have your distortion above like five, these guys are gonna be complaining the entire time in the background, just humming and humming and humming which is not uncommon for guitars in this price range. However, that is kind of annoying as a high gain player. Even as a like mid game blues player or fusion player, these pickups are going to be groaning under distortion. So if I had any recommendations to Felsi, it'd be to get maybe some quieter pickups if possible. However, for $129, $149, whatever it is right now, you really can't complain about this. It's extremely common, even on like Mexican Fender Strats, which are like 600 bucks. This is a common thing. So it's not a huge deal. They're just not particularly well potted and they're single coils, which always hum a little more. So something to be aware of. <laughs> Another thing that's great about this guitar is the fit and finish. It's completely 
perfect. It's smooth as butter. It's so nice. There's no rough spots anywhere. It's all nice and satin and, and matte and beautiful and just fantastic. The fretboard, uh, rather, excuse me, the neck is also has that kind of unfinished feel to it where it's super smooth. There's no roughness. There's no coarseness. It's really quite nice. And the whole thing as a package looks fantastic. Another thing is going to be these tuners are really quite good for being so cheap. They have a really good radius when you turn them. They're actually kind of aggressive. I'm not sure what the radius is or I'm sorry, excuse me, the ratio is, but it's a pretty aggressive ratio. They turn very smoothly. They hold to them really, really well. They're just a nice set of basic tuners. They work fantastically. And then this nut was cut perfectly. I'm pretty sure it's just a plastic nut. It doesn't really say I'm going to go with plastic because it's a safe bet, but it is really, really nice. It doesn't ping at all when you turn it. It's probably the nicest nut I've had in the guitar for this price point. So it was really, really well done. So good job on Felsi for that. So already on the list of things that matter, this checks most of the boxes. Looks cool, sounds good, stays in tune. That's perfect. That's perfect for a beginner, intermediate player. This is perfect. Now, outside of that, I do have a handful of small gripes that I have to communicate to you guys. One was these frets were very sharp, very sharp on the edges. The thing about sharp frets is it's probably the most uncomfortable aspect of a guitar, but it's also an extremely easy fix. People don't seem to realize that. So right now, I've already fixed that problem and I could easily squeeze and move and I won't get any cuts or it's really smooth now. I fixed it. Let me quickly show you how I fixed it. The second I pulled this guitar out of the box, I noticed it had sharp fret ends and it is so annoying when a guitar comes with sharp fret ends. I don't know about you guys, but when I have a guitar with sharp fret ends, I just don't play it as much. The cool thing is fixing it is super easy and I'm gonna quickly show you how to fix that with this little Amazon file kit I got for like $5, like five, five or six years ago. And I'm not doing anything fancy at all. I've already done one side this way. I'm gonna lower my camera down and show you guys exactly what I do. And again, I am no professional at this, but it's just so damn easy. And it generally fixes this problem pretty much immediately. So I don't use any tape, nothing like that. I have this little file block here that I got from Amazon. Again, it's the, the, um, the finest of them can't talk sometimes it's the finest of them and all I'm going to do to fix this simple problem is take it right here and just take it like so apply literally zero pressure whatsoever and go up and down like so just like that easy peasy lemon squeezy now again I personally don't apply any pressure whatsoever I don't want to hurt the fretboard I don't want to hurt the frets and you know again I don't exactly know what I'm doing I'm no professional by any means but if you do this enough, enough passes, it just takes care of the excess sharpness. And boom, just like that, just like that. Super smooth, wow. super even. Okay, problem number two is going to be a collective problem with the bridge. So the bridge does not stay in tune with the trem bar at all. And again, for the price point, extremely common extremely common these six screw bridges rarely stay in tune like there are some brands like paul reed smith that use six screws quite often and they stay obviously they stay in tune but for the most part when you have these cheaper you know six screw tremolos they just don't stay in tune that well from be it from squire or yamaha pacifica whatever it is they just traditionally don't stay in tune and this is no exception it just doesn't stay in tune with the trem bar you'll see i don't even have it on there and i'm a pretty heavy trem user when i play uh, but i won't be using this trem at all Additionally, when I got this guitar, the action was a little high for me personally. Now, I am a spoiled little brat with action. I use 8.5 strings. They're very thin and slinky, and I like nice and low action. So, you know, it was high for me as a like slinky lead player, but I don't think it was objectively high by any metric. However, I did lower the action by quite a bit. And when you do that, these bridge pins stick up really high. But when you put your hand right here and you move it, these tall screws just kind of rub against your hand. Again, extremely common on more affordable guitars. 
Not a huge deal at all, but another thing that Felsi could very easily fix. And the last thing I don't like about this guitar is going to be this. This big old block in the way. Felsi has done a really good job in every other way, kind of replicating the sleek design of like a Charvel or a Jackson Dinky with this cool body shape. The fretboard and the neck is nice and like medium thin and it feels really, really good. Now that I've taken care of the fret ends, it plays like butter. But then you get to this point right here and it's like, You cannot get past it. This big block gets right in the way. And again, this is not a Felsi thing. This is a just guitar manufacturer thing. If you would just put a little, just a little slide there, a little angle there, you could easily get past this and you could play up on all these higher frets. But you know, as of right now, I really can't get past right here. I mean, seriously, it's just not, it's just not happening. So those are my grips in the guitar. Those are my grips. And in my mind, those are fairly small grips. There's nothing huge there. I mean, all really easy modifications by Felsi. And again, if you're a beginner or intermediate player, you probably won't care about these things besides the sharp fret ends. That does suck. They need to find a way to kind of fix those sharp fret ends consistently. And once they do that, once they fix that thing, this is like the perfect guitar under like 500 bucks. Really nice and sleek. I've been playing it like non-stop for the last week. I can't put it down. It's so fun to play. I really can't recommend it higher for people that are beginners, intermediate players. And the cool thing is you get things like a case, you get a tuner, you get an instruction manual that actually makes sense and tells you how to fix and modify your guitar. So I think this is a fantastic deal for somebody that's looking for their first guitar or for a guitar you wanna have laying around just to modify and, and, to, and play with. A big thank you to Felsi for sending this my way to review. This is the first free guitar anyone sent me. So it was really cool to get it. And you know, I really appreciate the opportunity to demo your guitar. I do have a coupon code that Felsi gave me for this guitar. So if you use my coupon code and their already existing coupon code, that's like $129 for this guitar, which is a screaming deal. It does give me some money back, which would be cool, but it doesn't matter really on that end. My upload schedule is extremely random. I'm aware of this. I'm trying to fix it. Bear with me here. Thanks again for all the support. Every video I post, I get a lot of views and a lot of nice comments and I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one in six months from now or six, six days from now. I have no idea. It's completely chaos. We'll find out.